I mean, look, you all know what's going on by now, okay? I load up the game, we start the episode, and I say the same line every single time. I've added one or two mods. All of these mods on screen right now have added into the mod pack. They're all safe to add. I've updated the workshop, the collection, the load order, everything. Play along if you like. It's all ready to go. All of them I got from the comment section and Discord across yesterday, so thank you for the suggestions. Lots of really good stuff in there. So I'm only going to use Vanilla Sidecasting Expanded to have a look at that Insectoid tree, which I think is added by Alpha Animals. It allows you to summon hives and do all sorts of very fun Insectoid stuff, and I thought I'd give that to Bugsy, given that She's not really unique amongst the colony. Everybody can do what she does right now. But we'll have to try and figure out a way across the playthrough to give her that. Because it's not as if we're going to get sidecasts from the Empire. Uh, given that we <laughs> kidnap one of their people and turn them into a little bug guy. I've got a few goals in mind. Along with trying to bestow the sidecast on Bugsy. Whether we can do that with the animatory or something else. We'll try and figure it out here. I want to give everybody a little insectoid armor and weaponry. Rather than just... The random rifles we found on the floor. At the very bare minimum, I want to give everybody one of these honey glass sides. They are, they're intended, as it says in the description, to be used for horticulture rather than warfare, which is great. Gives 20% plant work speed and we grab a bunch of flowers and all sorts of things to attract bugs to the base. They are also really, really good. 14.71 melee damage per second is definitely nothing to sneeze at. Then for the final thing, all of the research we got yesterday was to do with the Apini race, the, the kind of bee people. Problem is, we haven't got a bee person to do any of the bee people stuff. We can't get the beeswax or do anything like that. So if we could get a bee person, that would be amazing. Oh, Mammoth Worm, how are you doing? Oh my god, you're actually fine. Holy crap, you were barely fine though. 98% infection spread and you've only just got immunity. Oh crap, well that was close. You'll live to fight another day, little Mammoth Worm. And by fight another day, I mean I'll put you in the entrance to the base and then you'll all run away scared. Because we haven't yet finished <laughs> finished training you. Sappy's many friends. Sappy, are you a bug? Sappy joins. What's Sappy? Sappy is a a scorp. What the hell is that? Scorps are Zenos who are greatly adapted for desert life. Oh, is it a scorpion person? I mean, scorpions are basically bugs, aren't they? We've got to protect them from the Tonks Company and the family of Kisconis in four days. I don't think we're ready for combat. I'm not going to lie, Sappy. What else we got here? Temporary workers expires in three days. They want to borrow a colonist. We get an architect teleporter. What's Zomblob? Oh, it's a bee. Is that a bee? Wait, well, I don't know why that's favorite. Are you a bee? What the hell are you? Uh, I mean, the leather type is a peony chitin. Race, necropeony. What the hell is that? <laughs> I don't know if necropeony is the right name for them. Stronger and more resistant than normal peony with the ability to make meat honey. They were created to terraform worlds that normal Apini would not survive on. Holy crap, what have I got to do? I give you a colonist for 13 days. Sorry, one colonist 13 years or older for 7 days. You give me a death bee. That is the easiest decision I've made in my life. Lynx is going to go. What happened to that nest you built, Lynx? And we got Apini flowers. Might be, might be useful. What happened to that nest? Wait, did you not automatically maintain that? Lynx. Uh, oops. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Uh, it is a handle job and it'll be automatically queued up when the nests fall too low. Uh, as long as, of course, you've actually got them working on handling. That's on me. I'm going to send you away now, Lynx. Uh, not because I'm angry with you, Lynx. That's my fault. Fucking Lynx. You're going in that damn shuttle. Where is it? Here, take my man. Give me a B. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. Um... That's horrifying. Wow, and you've turned up with a mega scarab on a stick. Good God. <laughs> I don't know what I expected, but that was not it. <laughs> oh, you're really scary. You're really scary. Welcome to the colony, my God. What are you good at, Zemblop? You're good at melee, that's nice. Coward is not ideal for a fighter. It's centric. Research speed times 115%, that's not bad. And then a hard worker. We could start training up an intellectual, I suppose. As long as you're someone capable of crafting the, the beeswax and whatever to swap out in the base, then you are a disgraced guard. You failed to protect the queen after an embarrassing incident involving a pineapple. Oh, no. Actually horrifying. We do need to convert you over as well. Oh, God. Add it to the list. There you go. Would you like some jeans, horrifying wasp men? Where are you, horrifying wasp men? Hurry up. Hopefully this will make you slightly less terrifying. Oh, there you go. No, it hasn't really helped, has it? In fact, I think you're probably more terrifying now. Oh, sweet. There we go. The Mantodian are another big insect race. Apparently, they have a lot of insect-based furniture, similar to the Peony. So if we could get one of those as well, that'd be amazing. They're basically big old mega scarab people. Wow. You put raw meat in a pool of chemicals that disassembles it into a basic element, and then we get some sort of delicious meat jelly. 
Hmm. We've still got this problem that because Cydonia is Iron World, we can't convert them in any other way besides a conversion ritual. And even then, we need to be masterful, otherwise it'll just tick back up to 100% slotty. So we've got 17% chance right now. Can I do anything to make this look nicer? There has to be something we can do here. What about a, uh, what about a big old slab? We've got like a bee slab. We invented art. We've got, ooh, Mentodian jelly pool. <laughs> oh, God, I don't like that. Well, let's build an art bench. We haven't got any good artist, but we could give it a go. Luxembourg is actually not bad at art. That'd be quite a good use of your skills. But for some strange reason, when I used the words biological warfare in yesterday's episode, people got slightly excited. Although, given some of the conversations we've had about you people getting excited, we shouldn't be so so quick to celebrate that. Where's my bug man gone? I sent my bug man away. But this is the creature that can bite and transmit the bubonic plague. And I think that's an amazing weapon. It's going to be completely useless during battle, obviously, but might do something. Oh shit, it's the health inspector. <laughs> I mean, we could trade with them. Every faction is either neutral with us, and there are only a few neutral factions, and everyone else absolutely hates us. What have you got? Oh, drone genetic material. Warrior genetic material. When administered to a human being, this genome can have a random effect. Oh, I never even considered that. That could be amazing. Um, I can't really sell you much, unfortunately. I've got an elephant tusk. And uh, a few components that really we're not going to use for a while. We can always get more of those. There's some black hive material there too. And there's also some royal genetic material. We'll give it to Bugsy. I've got to give it to Bugsy, right? As by two, we can just about afford two of them. Is this a bad idea? Bab's going to deliver it now. This is a horrible idea, but it makes Bugsy that little bit more unique. Oh, we got that 12 medicine. Don't forget from that radius day. So we can actually do it. Ha! Ah! Okay, operation was success. She's mutated. She has a synaptic cerebellum. Oh, that actually sounds quite good. That's the research bonus, right? Um, it is an insectoid brain, particularly sensitive to residual psychic synapse. Oh my god, and I wanted to use the side casting on her anyway. Psychic sensitivity, 50%! That was actually insanely good. Very high A tier. One of the mods added to the pack, as I'm sure I put up on screen earlier, is one that makes psychic sensitivity affect the things like cooldown on powers. 50% psychic sensitivity from a random implant is amazing. It gives a little bit of pain, but that's all right. Extra hit points. Oh, that is amazing. I almost don't want to risk this other one in case it does something else, but shit, let's give it a go. I'm actually so happy with that. We couldn't have got anything better, I don't think. And then finally, okay, it succeeded. We got a ventricular sleeve on the heart. What does that do? Um, I barely understood heart and artery mutation. Causes blood to coagulate into oxygen-rich gel-like material. Upon laceration or loss of limbs, the gel will cauterize the wound immediately. What? Are you saying that's a coagulator? That's what you're saying. And as we know from the last area, coagulator instantly heals all wounds. <laughs> yeah, but okay, but that's going to make it like, immune to bleeding. It puts strain on the human cardiovascular biology, so it gives us 7% pain. Oh my god. Uh, of course, we've got to be careful with the pain because we've got shared mood. That is amazing. I have, to, I have to try and give it the psychic powers right now. We have to try and do something with that. Uh, can you lot hang around like a second so that we can take more of these apart and maybe sell you the components? Bionic enhancing apini flowers. What is this? We can grow rush thorn that gives an agility bonus of some description and vigor bloom for strength. My god. Oh, the hive is finally getting some real power behind it now. Um, come on, come on, come on, haul this one. Buggo's too busy vomiting. Think of your wife. Some items cannot be traded because of Kwama nest entrance. Oh, I know what that is. Okay, so we've got five more components to the stockpile. Let's buy one more royal genome. Because this has just been two for two. Bugsy now can't bleed out and is incredibly psychically sensitive. I've got to give it another go, right? This is where it backfires horribly and she dies. <laughs> okay, here we go. We did succeed. Pheromone secretor. Please be social chance. I beg you. Pheromone secretor. Social impact 25%. Best day of my goddamn life. This is amazing. That could not have been any better. Man, my only... Uh, you know what? Let's just take it all apart. My only regret is not having more stuff to trade with them so we can buy more. That was so, so good. Three for three on that. I mean, I'll try it. I, I will try a couple more. I think they're going to leave any second now. So we're probably not going to get another... Another sale out of this. Bugger ho! You are almost done, you little chick. Come back here. Oh, that's a problem. Oh, God. That's a real problem. Um, how much food have we got in storage right now? Actually, a lot. Oh, like loads. 
Loads. We should be okay. Oh my god, every time he's close to finishing it, he's vomiting. They're leaving. All right, well, you gave it an honest go. You, you, you did Bugsy proud. She got the social impact. I hope the Kwamas survive. Oh, shall I roof over them? I hope it doesn't make them feel threatened. I, I want to try and protect them. Can we build a roof over our Kwama friends? Shit, I hope this doesn't freak them out. Put one... Ugh, it's as close as we can get the columns. Let's just do that then. Oh, there, look, I mean, this is caved in, right? So we can build around there and that's as close as I can get the columns too. I hope it doesn't freak them out. Let's be careful, Boggo. Are they going to be fine with that? Okay, it looks as if they might allow us to build. I'm trying to help you. Okay, we're good. We're good. Oh, but they entirely resist toxic buildup. Oh, well, that's okay. I'll give them a roof anyway, because I'm feeling kind. They've helped us. I'll help them. Oh, this research today has been so good. We finished brooding. Unlocks the secrets of mutating the Mantodian G line into new cast. So that's Mantodian C plus E, which is like um continued and extended, not like combat extended. God, I need some insect people. This is why we need stuff to be able to trade. To try and get some new people to join us. I mean, either by buying them or by actually getting some raids that aren't just a manhunting pack of huskies. Because we've got no colony wealth to speak of. <gasps> you're up. God, you're so scary. Hello. How you doing? Now you can web people up too. That's nice. This is just too good. Simple symbiotic weapons. Use a combination of Mantonian jelly, organic compounds, and mutagens to create symbiotic weapons useful for hunting and war. Bug weapons for bug people. I just need to get these actual people recruited now. We've got Zunlob and Martin on research. That's why it's going so bloody fast. Did you really need to put a mask on? Did you really need to look any scarier? Okay, initial toxic buildup. I think that's enough taking these things apart for now. Let's cancel that. We'll get the components hauled urgently. Not really so bothered about the steel. I suppose we might as well. <laughs> What's that bone armor do you want? Well, now that you mention it. Okay, you know what? That, that'll have to do. I, we've got to get this commercial production going as soon as possible so that we can actually get it back on bloody cooldown. Should at least have helped out a little bit, right? Uh, let's get you converted first. 18%. What a waste of time. Oh, the room impressed this. We maxed out, though. And Bugsy's social impact's actually added pretty sizable. It's just the fact that we haven't got more colonists attending. Go on. Let's get it done. 17% chance of immediately converting. Masterful, come on. Effective. Okay, so that was basically a waste of time. How close are you to being converted? Oh! Isn't that interesting? <laughs> Look. Okay, my mistake. It won't take that long to actually get them converted over at this point. 14.6. Low opinion. All right. I've changed my mind. You're getting implanted right away. I wanted to test it. I wanted to test it. It was a bit of a waste of time. Of course. Camel luminescence. Mmm, how illuminating. That lets us build uh, fancy lights. That's good. If you're wondering why we're getting all the insect research back to back, I presume it's because it's all... In fact, we could have a look. Ah, oh, it's going to spoil the next research, though. Fine. Uh, enhanced symbiotic weapons. That sounds incredible. Oh, look at it. Oh. Anyway, I presume it's because all of the uh, the Apini stuff and the... Oh, yeah, look, you can see it there. It's all tribal because they're insects. Oh, that's what we want. Simple organic structures. Allows us to build an actual hive, not just a great big wooden base covered in paint. <laughs> Toxic buildup is spreading pretty far. Let's go ahead and lock our people up then. I don't want everybody to be infected by that. And there is enhanced symbiotic weapons. We need steel, the mantonian jelly, and the mutagens. I mean, I haven't tested it. Of course, it might be possible that regular bug people can throw together this stinky jelly. We might need a jelly room. <laughs> well, I suppose we kind of have a jelly room, don't we, over here? You don't need anything to... um. You don't need any materials for these. You just you just take a while to build. Oh, there's a lot of stuff here. Wowie. Create a Mantonian brood mo mother egg for 200 Mantonian jelly. We can make the jelly from any meat. The question is then, can anybody do that? Okay. Oh, my God. Make a sentient Mantonian egg. Is that like a colonist then? That's 1,000 jelly and one Mantonian scarab drone egg. Oh, there's a lot going on here. Uh, so what's that then? Relatively dumb and only exists to produce a few eggs for the hive. Okay. Well, that seems like a good place to start. Let's go ahead and make, uh, let's go ahead and make like 200 jelly. In fact, how much does each one produce? Um, make 75 from that. So let's just do that three times. Bugsy, this is it. This could be getting us our Mantodian and then all of the extra research that comes with that. Oh my God, you can actually do it. Wowee. You just gotta make that one or two times. You can make it out of jelly and quamarex. Oh my god. Jellifid broodling. Learn how to brood jellifids for the hive. Great. <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh, she's doing it. And it just gives us an egg. 
Broodmother egg. Okay, uh, disallow. Yeah, that's why we're getting so much of this Mantodium research. That's all that's left. Just the Mantodium research. And then we've got some other stuff that might need an, uh, an Apini to research it. Or we just haven't picked it up yet. And then that's it for Neolithic. Then we move on to Medieval. Oh, the butterfly didn't survive the toxic fallout. Oh. Oh. No, it actually had its thorax bitten off by a bear. Yeah, no, that's probably a bit more dangerous. <laughs> Ooh! Where? Not where I wanted it. Where, where is that spawn then? In the fridge, in the fridge, in the fridge. We haven't got our uh, insect tamer, though. When's he back? Is it worth holding out? Uh, temporary workers. Oh, 1.8 days. We can't do anything with it. All right, let's smash it to pieces. Bug together strong. Except right now, where bug, bug about to die horribly. Uh, do you want to just go up there and get ready with the with your oh god with your smashy weapon? Get a mammoth worms. Oh, they're in there. Oh, this is good though. Zomlob never stood a bloody chance. Nice work, mega spiders. Oh, that was it. Wow, that mammoth worm puts in good work. I mean, you kind of hope so. It is enormous. Nothing ripped off quite yet. <laughs> oh, I feel terrible smashing these insect type. They're supposed to be our friends. Oh, you idiot! Why? Why would you do this? We could have used that mega spider to build a fancy weapon. Might as well start work on those very fancy sides that give the plant speed bonus, given they've got all the extra steel from the ships. I wonder if we've got any other... Ooh. We can build glow pods. I mean, glow pods do decay, though, don't they? Um, I wonder if they'll be more permanent on those ones. What I wanted to look at is uh, exactly something like that. Mantodium bioalchemy bench. That sounds quite handy. Oh, God. Never say Mantonian aren't smart. These bioalchemy labs may look Neolithic, but they're way ahead of our own genetic manipulation science. Ooh. Biological material. Weapons are evolved and mutated to purpose. That sounds nice. What do we need for that? 250 Mantonian jelly and 30 chem jelly. And then chem jelly we can make from chem fuel and Mantonian jelly. Sure. We'll do that until we've got 50 of it. I don't think we can actually get chem fuel from Exodate. Fidelity for Dodo. Dodo, I'm not interested. Although the three... Kill trainers. 22 days just to look after a guy. Oh, I like that a lot. Luxembourg, what are you looking like right now? 10.44. You know what? For Luxembourg, give me that. I've got to ask, why is a man who can't leave his bed being the one to do the cultural exchange? He's interested in learning about other cultures from the comfort of the, the hospital, I suppose. You just want us to go and have a chat with you? That's fine. Nice. <laughs> Luxembourg has made a honey glass scythe and she's named the thing Luxembourg's Reaper. Wow. Luxembourg crouches next to a firewall covered in frost, taking place inside a freezer. An elder smiles from far away from the main subject. The word conveys emotions of struggle. It was when Luxembourg got hypothermia. I mean, you know what? You can have that one. You've earned that. You can have that one as your sidearm. Would you like to learn about our culture, would you, Dodo? About one of these. No. Oh. Well, I tried. <laughs> and I'm never going to stop trying before you ask. Let's have a leader speech. The moods are looking a little low. Bugsy's a little sad about something. Oh, an insecto was slain. Right. I mean, we didn't really have a choice, though, did we? I mean, it was very, very literally us or them. Those mega spiders weren't just going to stop. We wonder if we have to talk them down. Buggo drink discussed avoiding conquerors. Honestly, that's good life advice. You can't argue with it. Oh, it was shit, though. No, I'm sorry. It wasn't good life advice. It was terrible. It was absolutely terrible. Holsing, full of awkward jokes and depressing stories. Oh, you can subscribe to the second channel now. <laughs> oh, God, the colony wealth. Holy crap. Yeah, uh, I wonder if you can find the moment where we took in a new person and then gave Bugsy a load of really expensive bionics. Good God. Oh, the broodmother has hatched. Um, <laughs> what is that? Like a um, standard British tooth? Oh, Hello, colonists have returned. Yeah, I presume it'll be a while before the broodmother actually does anything for us. What do you create, though, for us? We'll always produce a scarab. Hang on. Wasn't, uh, hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. To make a, a sentient mantodian egg is one scarab egg and 100. Oh, oh wait, no, was it this one? Quicken a sentient mantodian egg? Mantodian scarab I don't know. We'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll figure it out when we get there. I have a feeling this probably won't work. Oh, thank you. Temperature moderation. Perfect. I have a feeling this probably won't work because it's... <gasps> it's not tameable. We're going to be the next words out of my mouth. Boom. Biological warfare. <laughs> we got a plague... Plague spreading cave crawler. That's amazing. There it is. 
That was the thing I was really waiting for. Simple organic structures allows us to build an actual real hive. I presume we just make it out of the jelly, right? Uh, hive wall. Five Mantonian jelly. Neolithic, terrain opponent's heavy. It's got, f honestly, 300 hit points is pretty nice. That's a step up. Is it flammable? That's the real question. Uh, zero percent. My god, we've finally done it. Swap all the wood out. We're evolving. Now it's really gonna start to feel like a proper insect hive. I mean, it's gonna take us a while to get enough to actually build this, right? Hive door, I presume those are, wait, what's the opening speed on that? Uh, 100%. Oh, amazing. Turn the Kwama eggs into walls for the hive. Oh, this is good. And what, what, what job is it that does that? Uh, I presume it's just... I was about to say crafting, but that's not right. Oh, God, it's really gross. Oh, no. <laughs> that's so good. Two quests at the same time as well. My God, longbows. Hey, there we are. I'll be sure to swap out our SMGs that we scavenge for that soon. Oh, God. What the hell even is that? What am I looking at? It's already ready to lay eggs. I mean, I'm not complaining. Oh, that is fucking hideous. <laughs> I don't know what that is. It's like a ghost. Oh my God, at long last, some recreation variety. Thank you. Insects famously love billiards. And they also really love poker as well. I'm about to do what's called a pro gamer move. We've got a 47% chance of this early insectoid him resetting the... Uh, the cooldown on the hive building. We need a lot of jelly. We got a, we got a big base to build. I need way more jelly. We're we building a, <laughs> a base out of jelly. <laughs> hey, there you go. And now we can actually rebuild that bloody nest. And this time, hopefully, you'll maintain the damn thing. Structures and furniture. Oh, I didn't know it had furniture too. Man, this mod. A uh, great suggestion. Whoever. Su nah, I've changed my mind. <laughs> Whoever suggested this, you need serious mental help. It was, a, it was a ploy again, wasn't it? It was a ploy from one of you lot in the comment section to see Bugsy in the, what was it called? The mating pit. I thought you could pull a fast one on me. Oh, I think it'll be someone else pulling a fast one in the mating nest. <laughs> I hate this game. I hate this game and everybody that plays it. What does it do? 75% comfort. Oh, it's a bed. A nest made of jelly and biological waste where Mantodians bury themselves to sleep. You can bury me alongside them. That's disgusting. Wow. Um, jelly seat. Jelly table. I'm not sure I want to sit on the jelly seat. You can tame the Kwama. We were just out of range before. Oh my god. This could be very, very powerful. Hello. Kwama warrior one. Oh my god. We've got a whole army of friends waiting down here. Just waiting for someone to turn up and tame the bloody things. Another exotic goods trader. We haven't had many raids turn up, have we? I mean, we've had problems and, and people trying to kill us horribly, but we haven't had any proper raiders. Very weird. Oh, you've got more royal genomes. I mean, how can I not? 52 components. That'll buy one or two. Wow, I won't buy that many. Holy shit. Um, well, <laughs> there you go. That's it, I suppose. I guess we'll do that one. And then if we can't, if we can't implant it all in... Uh, Bugsy will give any other royal stuff to Buggo. I mean, maybe that's just Empress Evil, right? Maybe she's just consistent little annoyances like the toxic fallout and whatever else rather than full-on big raids. Not to mention our colony wealth still isn't massive. I mean, it's spiked recently with all of those components we got, but that's about it. Bugsy, my friend, enjoy. Should we just go all in? So I'll see if we can at least go all in. Just hope that none of these get replaced because honestly, oh, honestly, they're all good. Why is it threatened? Why are you threatened? We're friends. What threatened them? Nice. Mutation failed. No body part could grow. Does that mean that there are no other body parts that can grow? Does that mean that, that that's everything? Or should I try it again? Ah. Genome can have a random effect. Let's give it one last go. If this one fails, I, I think we've just got to presume that at that point, Bugsy doesn't have any more to, uh, to mutate. Oh, you can use herbal medicine for it. Maybe that's also why it failed. Ah. Go. Oh. Mutation failed. Okay, don't do that anymore. Bogo, my friend, congratulations. You're getting yourself some royal genome. Uh, somewhere. <laughs> the mutation for little Bogo. There we are. Ventricular sleeve. Again, I'm, I'm super happy with that one. That always seems pretty nice. Colonists can gain expertise. Right, we've got vanilla skills expanded. So when they reach a certain level, you can... Uh, I think it's when they reach level 15 or whatever. You can pick a relevant skill. Um, Martin, I'm going to give you research. 
That seems good. We can only pick one. Uh, we, we, I'm only allowing one expertise this series because, I'll be honest, a lot of the vanilla skills expanded stuff are very, very overpowered anyway. <laughs> and then Bugsy, uh, taming, ranching, hunting, handling, foraging, pruning, harvesting, sowing. Wow. Do I even want to give you a, uh, an expertise in plants or animals? Because to be honest, I think if we could really, really, really hold out in the long term for social, that'd be nice. Oh, but handling though would be really good, wouldn't it? Bugsy the Bug Queen. Let's go for it. Let's go handling. Fine. We've got we've got a lot of animals to train. If we're going to be bringing in Kwama Warriors as well, I presume those will also need training in... Yeah, there you go. The regular animal stuff as well. Level 17 intellectual. My god. He really is big brain time. To be fair, they've done nothing but research today, right? Kwama! Are they going to be okay? Oh, uh, I'm going to set that as home area. I'm not letting my boys burn like this. I've already set it as home area because we built the roof over it. Amazing. Uh, yeah, like, go save them though. Let's make sure they're okay. Those eggs have single-handedly fueled this base. I think they should be all good now. I think they'll burn out. All those eggs have been going right into the jelly pools. And that is pretty much what's transformed this whole thing. I mean, it's probably going to take quite a while to get the whole base converted over. Because we do need to use meat or, or, or other insect jelly. Or the kwama eggs also work, like I said. I'm also trying to only do it room at a time. Because if you queue up a load of stuff with replace stuff, it's, it's very laggy. It won't take long. We'll probably get it done by tomorrow, though. This is looking amazing. And then if we could throw down a few more of the insect nests, we'd just convert that jelly into the other type and keep building the walls. This is disgusting. <laughs> this is absolutely disgusting. It's going to look even worse when the floors are made out of it, too. Oh, maybe we'll go beeswax floors. Yeah, I think we'll probably just go beeswax floors when we get up to that stage. Otherwise, it's going to just be a giant green mess. From a giant yellow mess to a giant green mess. Oh, that's how you make that stuff. You just make it from bloody wood. So hang on, we can make like uh maybe not a thousand. That might be a little, a little bit too far. Um, let's just make like uh five hundred. That seems good. Then look, make chem jelly from that, and then that will allow us to craft whatever the other thing was. I don't remember now. Oh, there's a lot to keep track of. Okay. All right, you know what? I'm gonna drop that back down to hundred. Is there anything else we can do in here? Peony broiled jelly. Beeswax, of course, we need an peony to do. But to be fair, you might be able to do that now. And then we can build the floors. Um, let's do that until we've got... Oh, I don't know. Let's go... Um, the thousand might be a bit much. Let's go like 200 on that too. Can you do that for us? Crafting. Okay. Well, hang on. Let's swap that over. Hold on. And crafting. Making a lot of wax. You can make out Tintoria and wood. Oh, to be fair, we've got a lot of both of those. So I'm all right with that. I'm so glad I checked this. Holy crap. And then what else have we got here? Mantodian Acid Launcher. <laughs> what? <laughs> Mantodian Barb, Breaker, Crusher, Heavy Spine Thrower, Long String. Oh, these are all the bug weapons. Made out of insect jelly and then some other things that you can upgrade them with. Holy crap. Like an acid launcher, though? Very harmful for living beings. Yeah, I'd, I'd imagine so. I mean, how can I not? You can't give me the words acid launch and not expect me to make that. That's ridiculous. Oh, shit. This is interesting. Okay, so the beeswax floor is for beeswax. Pretty low work to build. No beauty. Beeswax tiles are for beeswax and have one beauty on them. And then you've got the beeswax, the other beeswax tiles added by a different mod, which are five beauty, 15 beeswax, but aren't flammable. So I think that's what I've got to go for. It's going to take a bloody long time to swap all this out, though. That's going to be a lot of beeswax though, right? 2,600! Oh, I feel like we might need to expand the farm. Oh, shit. And I've also got to make sure you're not making uh, beeswax out of, like, our food. Um, oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> well, never mind. Why don't we just grow a shitload of hay? Because it's nutrients and wood we need for that. So let's just grow loads and loads and loads of hay. Let's create a giant area of it. I guess just outside the walls. I mean, we're insects, right? Plant spread is pretty much exactly what they're good for. Let's do, uh, let's just do a shitload of hay grass then. A harp? That must be more medieval. That's, that's a medieval research, right? Great bow. Okay, that's fantastic. Yeah, look at that. Oh, actually, a few of those. Oh, the organic structures were medieval. I mean, obviously, I have no idea. I've never not seen that before. The turn of a whole new era for the hive. In that case... What a perfect way to bookmark today's episode, moving into the medieval era, even though we sort of already started that. A lot of projects going, uh, <laughs> mainly converting these two idiots in the prison, but a lot of them now have the honey glass scythe that give the 20% work speed and they count as really good weapons too, 20% plant work speed, of course. Got the new spooky uh, bug man. 
Very spooky bug man. I mean, everybody's a spooky bug man, despite what the comment section think otherwise. Uh, but now we've got the really spooky bug man. The insect army is doing fantastic, and the base is finally being replaced with actual jelly hive walls, rather than just painted wood, which feels a lot more on brand. And he's been massively research heavy, right? And I'm hoping soon, now that we've got the muscle, now that we've got all those foundations in place, and all the different types of research, all we need really is to get one of the Mantodians to see if there's any unique stuff with that, but we might just get away with it. All of it might be accessible to every race. And then after that, this hive will never look better. Let's carry on tomorrow. If you've got any suggestions for things to look at, if you've played the Mantodian race before, I'm all ears on that one, because again, this is there's a lot of stuff that this has, like a huge amount of stuff. It could have been a whole playthrough by itself. So if you've got any things I should be aiming for, or, or, or kind of good stuff to know. That'd be nice ahead of time rather than me trying to frantically figure everything out. And if you've got any mod suggestions too, any insectoid mods that will help with the theme, of course, throw them my way. Thank you in the meantime to Anastara, Athom, Lord Snarky, Snowlauga, Takedown Relic, Krakadaka, Vincent Emus, Bling, Magicka, Noodle Pokin, Crow Skull, Cuddles, Cosmic Zombie, Warseeker9994, VV Heiter, Wilson Aaron, Frozen Solid, Huntsman, Anthony Frackenthal, Franzman, Lord Gator, Bryce, Thomas the Dank Engine, Caius, Tenacious Bloom, Evelyn Orwell, Rev3, Gods, But I'm Homeless, Salar- Yeah, thanks. Salaroth, Lemon TV, Lycan Lover, Mill, Prototype in Session, Zulu, and Wazzy as well. Well, that's what the executive producer tiers on Patreon. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Hope you're enjoying The Hive. Lots of people seem to think it's a, it's a fun series. Kind of surprised, given that it was a bit of a weird idea, but there we go. Thank you as well to Bubonic Ghoul, Beyond Ascension, Consolas, Koi, Ben Ice Cream, Turkey, Salakin J, Edgemere, Scott Griffiths, Yahano, Charles Howard, James Diamuid, Travis Dynera, Cyber Monkey, Brian Baldwin, Magnus Ittering, Katsinogen, Darkness, Maliana, Dread94, Fred, Sandy, Schmeggles, Juicebox, Tara Teach, Alan Michael, Havens, and Ryan S. Hey, come back tomorrow. We'll do some more weird bug stuff. <laughs>